Uh, okay, next one. Oh, this is interesting. Just a headline. Michael Kupach, and the subject is Mark Podcasts. Hello, gentlemen. I'm talking about Mark Podcasts and how you don't really value their opinions on work or booking because they've never been in the business. That being said, why does Conrad get a pass from you guys? It seems to give his opinion on the business has been doing so for about six to seven years now, and no one calls him out that he's never been in the business. Keep it on 100. I think the only honest answer is because he can make me money and other marks can't, but maybe I'm wrong. Can you please enlighten me as why Conrad gets a pass on his take on what is going on or what went on in the wrestling world? And that's a shout out from Bam to Bam and Discord. Bam, uh, I don't know if you listened to our Eric Bischoff interview, but the way th the, that podcast is described is that it's Eric doing a podcast with a fan. Yeah, answering the dirt shoots and whatnot. And like he says. It's, it's correcting not, old it's stories. Dirt, it's not the dirt. It's like Conrad is the fan perspective. Here's a, here's so a, he's, not, here's, he's, not, he's not trying to be. He's giving you the fan opinion. You here's know? my answer. So I don't really respect too much the opinion of fans. Um, what are they going to tell me that I don't already probably know or seen or done? That's number one. Number two. There's exceptions to every rule. When you get a guy like Dave Meltzer, who he used to come to Tijuana way back before anybody even knew what Lucha Libre was, and he was covering it. Nobody, you know, but nobody else was doing that. And all the matches he's been to and all the big – he's been to more wrestling matches that I've been to, bigger events, probably watched more wrestling matches. So he's got – he's got a – I respect his opinion, Okay. When you get somebody like Conrad or Dan Lambert, who obviously don't try to come off as know-it-alls and are respectful and don't try to tell us, you know, oh, I know more than you or you're irrelevant or whatever it is. They're very respectful. You know, they're guys that, that they're very successful in what they do and they're big fans, but they're respectful and they're not trying to come off as know-it-alls or I know more than you. That's why they get a pass. And plus Conrad, yeah, it's like Michael said in email. He's proven that he can make money through his formula, and he's also proven that he can. But it isn't about money. Other that are, you guys have told me some guys that are doing big numbers, and they're that to me doesn't mean anything. I'm talking about people being respectful, mm -hmm. you know, uh, well informed, you know, and that 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 to me is the difference. Right. But I'm saying if he's put together live events that have drawn conventions that have drawn, he's proven that he's more than an average fan, you know? Well, he's, so. he's like definitely what, and he's very good at the interview process. He's excellent. Like, yeah, he's excellent. He's at that. good at he's everything like, you know, he does. Right. Yeah. So yeah. 